guys, welcome back to DW Farms. So it's the night before we're gonna smoke some wild quail. Um, these are quail I took off of my family farm up in Tennessee about a month ago. Um, so I was out hunting with a cousin and we shot about 30 birds that day, a mix of wild and um, farm-raised quail. So it's pretty sweet. Um, here they are, usually vacuum seal them in water. Found that that's the best way to preserve them. So what we're gonna do tonight is get the brine going. We're gonna smoke them tomorrow night. So I'm just gonna do a simple salt water brine. Um, usually do about one tablespoon of salt to about every cup to a cup and a half of water. Um, so we're gonna get that going. We'll mix up all the salt and then add in the breasts and the legs, put it back in the fridge overnight with some saran wrap over it. And then we're gonna kick it off tomorrow, um, getting them ready for the smoker with the seasoning and then pop them on the Traeger. So stay tuned. All right, so we got our little birdies brining. Um, here's how they look. We got, I think it's nine breasts, about like 16 legs in there. So I always make sure that when I pack them away in the freezer, they're basically ready to go. Um, I don't have to do any cleaning at this stage. It just makes brining them way easier. And I know it's a simple meal. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some saran wrap over these. Next time you see them, it's gonna be tomorrow afternoon. And we're gonna get them ready, for, all season them up and put them on the smoker. So see you soon. All right, guys, welcome back. It's the next day. It's about like 20 hours later. So they've been brining all night. We've got these little birds looking good. We pulled a little more blood out of them. Um, so we're gonna rinse them off real quick, get all that salt water off. I'm gonna rinse them in fresh cold water and then set them on some paper towels, dry it out. We'll put them on pans and season them up and then get them ready for the Traeger. all ready to go on the Traeger. So we got some chicken uh, thighs, boneless, just, you know, kind of some extra, throwing some extra meat on this meal since the birds um, aren't too much. And then we got our quail all seasoned up, dried out. We did our legs bacon wrap. So it's just wrapping it up in a little piece of bacon, sticking a toothpick through it. Um, so I got the Traeger pork and poultry rub on this. I actually made this seasoning at home. It's just to mimic that Traeger pork rub. And then the Cajun style Kingsford seasoning um, right here. So that's got some good heat to it. So I think we'll kind of have the sweet and spicy here. So let's get the Traeger fired up and then we'll show putting these on. So we got them all seasoned up. Traeger's preheated to 225. So we're going to pop them on right now. Um, I'm just leaving all of these quail, the breasts and legs on the sheet pans. It just makes them way easier to pull off um, instead of dealing with a bunch of tiny legs. So I'm gonna lay those back here and then we're just gonna lay these thighs down in front of the crates. All right, so we got all those on there. I'm gonna take our pro. I generally like it to stick it like right in the, one of the biggest breasts. So it's probably gonna be this one right here, I'm just going to stick it in right into the meatiest part of that. So we should be good on that. We're going to close her up, get it going. Uh, we're going to set our probe temp to about 145. It'll take about an hour to hit that. We'll come back out, bump up the temperature to get a good sear on them. So we'll check back then. Okay guys, we're about an hour 15 minutes in. So we just hit around 142. Um, so we're gonna pop open this lid. I haven't taken a look yet. Um, but yeah, they're looking really good. 
So we got the thighs in front, chicken thighs, the quail in back, the bacon starting to sizzle. So this is exactly what we want to see. So I'm going to go ahead and bump this up to about 275, probably, maybe actually probably go all the way to 325. I really want to crisp up the outside of this bacon just to give it a good um, crunch on the inside and the, the breasts and thighs will still be juicy. So let's do that. It'll probably take about another 30 minutes and we'll check back then. All right, so we just did about 20 minutes at 325 and we hit our target temp of 165. So I probed everything around. Uh, we're all even across the cook times. Chicken thighs are about like 170, 180-ish. So those are gonna be perfect. So we're gonna pull these off and we'll take a look at them inside. All right, we'll make this short and sweet because these smell incredible. So super simple to take these quail from field to table. We got our Cajun seasoning, we got our pork and poultry Traeger seasoning, and a few chicken thighs just to throw on there extra. So we're about to have a feast. Hope y'all enjoyed the episode. Please like and subscribe and catch the next episode of DW Farms.